Hi everyone, welcome to my very first tutorial and today what we're going to do is we're going to make this beautiful card from the Abundant Hope uh, stamp set which is the new acrylic one in, in the CD case. I'll be showing you that. I'll also be using the um, Perfect Polka Dots envelope for the Big Shot. Other things you will need will be the new clear block uh, from Stampin' Up! in the letter size E. So, so let's get started. What you need is 11 and a half by 8 and a half piece of cardstock cut into a 5 and a half. And what we will do, you need that. And you will need a piece of so saffron color in 5 and a quarter by 4 inches and a piece of Whisper White cardstock with 5 inches by 3 and 3 quarters. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our bone folder and we're going to fold this piece of cardstock, the pretty and pink cardstock, in half. Just try to make sure everything's aligned to the best that you can. Like that. I do a pre-fold like that and then I come with my bone folder to make it flat. See? And then I will just set aside this piece of cardstock and we'll use the Whisper White cardstock. Now, we're going to use the Big Shot and we're going to be using something that we've been using over the Christmas holidays, which is this wooden oval uh, frame. And you can get that at any craft store. And I'm going to put the envelope, the polka dots envelope, like that. And now I'm going to get my Big Shot. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take my platform, lift up the tab one, make sure you put a shim in here. See? Tab one, put your shim in here. Put, pull over the tab two. And then what I'm going to do is, is I want to make sure that I have this centered on the frame, which is fairly easy to do as you would know if it's perfectly aligned along all edges. So I will put that on my platform, put my uh, acrylic on it, and then I'm going to run it through. Take that out, and we'll set the Big Shot and everything aside. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to be using our new acrylic blocks. At first when I uh, had heard about this, I wasn't too sure if I was really happy with that idea because I am a woodblock person and I love my stamp -a jig But after I got this and opened it up, I was actually pretty surprised at how well and how easy it is to use. So this is the acrylic block number E and I had got the Abundant Hope. It's actually an Easter stamp set but I really do love the flowers here. And as you will see, it's very easy to store everything because that's all there is to it and then you can put the label on the back so you know exactly where you're stamping all the time so this is very easy to do you just lay it on here let's hope I can get it centered as I'm not in the picture with you just like so and then you put some weight on it to make sure it's sticking to the acrylic and it sticks quite well actually. So now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use my Handsome Hunter marker and I'm going to outline very nicely all the stuff that I want to be green. So that's exactly what we'll do here. And this is very easy to do as well. It just takes a few more minutes but it works out and it's very pretty. The effect is very pretty. Now I will do the yellow for the flowers. Just like so. Okay, so that's done. Now the thing about this is with these acrylics, you don't actually need to use your stamp a magic because as you can see, it's nice and clear and you'll be able to pl place that on your cardstock perfectly that way. So I'm going to do it in the portrait side and I'm going to do this the best I can at the angle that I'm in and then we gently just press down, 
press, press, press. And look at that. Nice, light, and simple and elegant. Very pretty. I really do like that. Now you're wondering, well now, how do I clean the stamp? Well, if you notice that we still have our rubber on there. So it will come clean just as easily as any of our other stamps. So what I'll do is I will take my stamp and mist and my stamp and scrub, set this aside, and just quickly show you how well it works. So I'll go spritz, spritz. Take my um, rubber stamp, clean, clean, clean. Just make sure I get all the ink, just like that. Clean, 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 clean. clean. And just like that and we're done and then it just easily comes off and you just put it back in your case simple as that very wonderful idea I like this better with the rubber stamps because at least the acrylic ones they don't these won't stains just like a regular rubber stamps so we're going to take this and then we're going to decorate it up a little bit what we're going to do is we're going to take approximately let's go here so what we will need is a good I would say 12 inches. So we'll cut a 12 inches of the Pretty in Pink Gross Grace ribbon. So I'm going to take my 12 inch piece and then I'm going to measure on the card where I'm going to put that. So that's about the amount I need for here. So I'm just going to cut a piece here and I'm going to do a faux knot much easier to do than the real ones. So I'm going to take my snail and I'm going to go here on one side, here on the other side, and then I'm going to place my ribbon in the spot that I want it. Just about here. Just like that. Wrap it around the card. Oops. We'll wrap on this side first, it'll be easier. And then we'll fix this side. And that's that. So now I'm going to take my piece of so saffron and I'm going to just snail it in the back. And then put it evenly on the so saffron. like that. Now I'm going to take my folded pink, Pretty in Pink cardstock and then put the snail on the back of the so saffron and align that perfectly on here as well. Just like so. Now to finish off with the ribbon, I'm just going to take my extra piece of Pretty in Pink and I'm going to go through underneath and then I'm just going to tie a knot. Make it nice and tight. I hope you could see that. Nice and tight. And then of course cut off the extra. There's that. But of course, as with always, I love my Dazzling Diamonds and this needs a little pick-me-up with the Dazzling Diamonds. So I'm going to take my two-way glue pen and I'm going to do the leaf part up here, just like so, and the center of the daffodils, and a little bit here on the leaf here as well. Just a little something something to add a little bit of charm. Now I'm going to take my dazzling diamonds here. It's always great to put it in the container. It makes it so much easier to work with. it off and that's that a nice simple easy card with the beautiful daffodils on it and um, I hope you enjoyed that we'll see you next time